Hi all. I wanted to show you uh, some enhancements to the dark theme. One aspect is that um, the black pieces don't look, they didn't look so good so <laughs> on the piece captures, but this has been resolved recently. Also the menu font color is slightly lighter shade of gray and you might want to use this interface setting. In fact, could I poll you, I mean, with this video, if you prefer this and we'll play a few moves. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna play a few moves very quickly. And some of these games are going to you guys and no, I haven't been strictly playing too much recently. I, I became overloaded when hundreds of you started uh, playing. I, I didn't realize how overloaded I would feel. So I'm hoping you can do other stuff on the site like playing tournaments, etc. Um, but uh, I'm occasionally, yeah, playing moves. Maybe there should be a regular hour in the week I play moves. Um, but anyway, so I, I think some of the issues have been resolved. If we look at the current games page, I think this looks pretty sweet, the position view. Um, summary view. Also, these these are, are not totally white. These Some of these boxes, uh, are these basic, you know, styling. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. So the main kind of sheet is on a lighter gray, and then it's dark black hair. And the previous style for many years, uh, in the first like 10 years of the site, we were just using a brighter style, uh, which is similar to, um, if we go to my stuff, my interface, I'm going to show you brighter style, like wooden style. And I'm not entirely sure. So you have to like log out, you click log out and log back in. So this brighter style is, was standard on the site for you. This is bright, obviously. And I don't know, do you prefer the dark style or the brighter style? So yeah, the font is now back to black, mostly. Um, hyperlinks, of course, are hyperlink colors. So if we play some moves here, let's not lose too much material. So I'll do something about like E4. And put my queen there. And fix against A4. Now, this is not how proper correspondence chess is played, I've got to say. So, uh, yeah, I'm moving a bit too quickly. Bishop h6 is not working. What about queen g3? Not Probably not a great move. No, I'm not the greatest correspondence player that ever lived. I just want to put a disclaimer to that. In fact, I'm probably one of the weakest. And you can tell from my rating it's not that high. <laughs> yeah. Um, because really, I'm uh, this. I'm working on this site. I'm trying to like from a technical point of view. So uh, it's not always enjoying the chess, but I do obviously like the puzzle section. I've been doing a lot of puzzles with you guys, so you can see the brighter style or the darker style. And I, I want to poll you in this video. What do you prefer? Um, it's another 38 moves to go. So if we want to just switch back, I'll just go to uh, the darker style now. And it's wooden freeboard lighter menu text if you want to find it on your own interface settings. So my stuff, my interface, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there is a, I know you have to log out and log in because there's so many settings that change actually. Uh, the move log here is not activated on the left because I think that's like clutterful. The reason for that, it gives actually extra space. If you've got a large monitor I have here, uh, I can I can maximize the board to get to 72 by 72 for each piece. These are SVG graphics and they don't lose too much, as you see, quality. They don't, they don't lose too much quality. And it's the same pieces I've been using in video. So actually the videos have been influencing a bit. This idea of um, going to the dark style was actually inspired by the recent videos, uh, you know, this year. Because uh, I think to me, there's a there's a, an aesthetic going on here that I think the board is kind of like lit up and emphasized. It's more emphatic for the board and you don't really want to be distracted uh, that much by too much uh, else. So that's kind of the um, the theory behind this. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to poll you guys. Do you prefer this dark style? Let's play a few more moves here. Queen E2. Not particularly good moves. Bullet, bullet style moves, bullet chest moves in correspondence. 
So my expectation is not to become correspondence world chess champion. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't do anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> um, hang on. There's a piece I can take here. Might as well do that. I spotted that. Yes. Okay. Bring the rooks in. When you've got so many moves like this, traditional correspondence chess, if you're serious, you only have like 20 or less games, I think, usually. The serious players and, um, and some organizations allow computer use like ICCF but um no you're not meant to use computers on especially on all the carol all the casual correspondence chess servers you're not really meant to basically cheat you're not cheat you're cheating if you use an engine you're just cheating yourself and your opponent and it's not nice so but you can tell from people's ratings and and if they lose generally if they're losing and playing blunders that they're okay just look at their past games and stuff so yeah you're getting an idea i hope of the dart style and various things that can happen like message boxes and stuff yeah i'll say sorry sorry okay i did forget about the game and um by the way you know you can put emoticons and stuff uh okay so yeah i i'm getting to like the dark style i i think this is a lot of fun myself and if you want to go really extreme a moment of great focus on a particular game you can click hide whoa <laughs> so no again minimal distraction philosophy and you know maybe that is a kind of thing at the heart of you know modern casual correspondence chess that you don't really want to have too many external outside influences which could damage the quality of your move the most obvious is time per move you know time per move is measured in days on a correspondence style site so the quick time limits are like one day move that's quick by correspondence you know standards but the idea of taking out all the distractions for me you know maybe that's hitting it's kind of hitting a philosophical note about the nature of correspondence chess you know free of distractions and pressure and absorbing you in a particular game position to analyze and giving you the tools you know the legal tools to analyze the analyze board which also like synchronizes all the board settings nowadays so uh, you know you can move pieces on this i'm pretty sure i've um uh shown you this stuff before i've, I've played lots of uh so we, we can analyze and um and then just close the window actually to just go back so it's no hassle to reload this page um you can make planning notes and stuff i'm sure many of you are aware of the site but you know come back and check the dark styles if you haven't been on the site for a while i'd urge you to go to my stuff if you like this if you like what you're seeing my stuff my interface then dark style wooden freeboard lighter menu text so yeah we've made it more i think better for the captured pieces in the menu text in particular and also you know these controls in particular they're by default they're white background but this has been changed to table light row color so i think yeah i do think it touches on a philosophy actually of correspondence chess the minimal distraction philosophy and minimal pressure to help you you know find the best move in a particular position without other you know concerns without other distractions so i don't know what you guys think please let me know uh, both at a philosophical level you might want to comment on what i think modern correspondence chess is about uh, i think it's like free from pressure and distractions um and just let me know if you think the dark style is better than the lighter style which was our initial style uh, you know for the first few years but for newcomers at the moment we are defaulting to this darker style i mean i just love it uh, I, I think it like lights up the board and I, I just actually do love it. I don't know about you guys. I don't want to bias things, but tell me what you think. Okay. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube and, and, and come and try it. Thanks very much.